this is a community whose heart and soul is in this, and it's, it's a whole history to it. It's a strategy session in City Heights. A handful of community leaders and residents have gathered every few weeks for five years to try to get a mural painted in their neighborhood. When they first got the idea, residents commissioned Linda Sheridan, CEO of the San Diego Cultural Arts Alliance, to plan the process. Art is transformative. It reflects the truth of a community and what it is, especially this mural. Uh, people are not going to believe what this mural is going to communicate, not only to the community, but to the region and any visitors that come. Um, it's, it's the visual of the heart of the people. Sheridan sent out surveys to City Heights residents asking them what they wanted the mural to say about their community. They learn from each other. They have very diverse backgrounds. They speak I don't know how many different languages in this community, and yet they connect with each other, they learn from each other, and um, they really honor that. The theme they settled on was unity in the community, and they wanted to put it on a 263-foot-long wall in Tiralta Park. The park sits directly on top of Interstate 15 and used to have a lot of gang activity. Dan Tomsky, a community leader, says the park represents the change in growth City Heights has made. The wall um, was being quite often tagged by, you know, you know with graffiti, um, by gang-related youth and others. And uh, the quest was knowing that uh, mural art is a real deterrent you know, from that kind of vandalism and also is a great opportunity to redirect youth into positive expression. In addition to displaying the diversity of City Heights, the mural features key neighborhood landmarks like the City Heights Library, Central School, and the iconic Tiralta Neighborhood Park sign. The community decided to include the words acceptance, diversity, harmony, and justice in Somali, Spanish, Vietnamese, and English. The plans also included a few messages to represent the unity in the community theme, including We Are America, We Welcome You, and Education, Reading, and Respect. Tomsky says the words help emphasize what the mural represents. The text, the words, are an integral part of the art expression and um, in a sense are very sacred at this point. They, they, they um, underscore, um, in, I think in a very constructive way, the hopes, the aspirations, as well as the history, the diversity, um, culturally and age-wise of this community. But it's those words that started their problems. Caltrans owns the wall, and according to their policy, text is not allowed on transportation art. Back in April, the mural organizers asked for a formal waiver so they could include the text, and then they waited. They got no response from Caltrans for months. Sheridan, who helped plan the process from the beginning, says the years-long wait has been beyond frustrating. Do you know whenever something gets to be so absurd that it's ridiculously funny? And unfortunately, that's what's kind of happened. I mean, it's like you want to shake your head and say, seriously, we can't function differently from this. We can't function at a better level um, in response to the needs of a community. The mural working group doesn't want to give up hope. They've enlisted the help of District 9 Councilman Georgette Gomez's office and are looking into bringing more of their elected representatives on board. They also want to invite Caltrans to Toralta Park to have a conversation with the community and understand their plans. The mural team hadn't heard from Caltrans in months, but once I started working on the story, I was able to get some answers. Caltrans told me that they do plan to approve putting the mural here, but it won't be allowed to have text. They say because they're a state entity, they're required to be, quote, content neutral and that they can't arbitrarily pick and choose which art can have text and which won't without violating the U.S. Constitution. But mural organizers like Sheridan say both images and words can be content with a message. You can offend somebody with an image. You can offend somebody with a color of some sort or the way you use that color. Maria Cortez, a longtime City Heights resident, says she will continue to fight for the mural she says celebrates the change and growth of her neighborhood. But now the park is thriving. The community has come together. Communities come out here. The kids play soccer games late in the evenings. We have had um, movie nights here in the park. The mural 
would also integrate art and what a, what a difference it would make to have art displayed out here throughout the community. She says getting the mural painted would also be a sign of how her community has learned to work together. And to her, that would be the reward. Priya Shreether, KPBS News.